Thank you. It's uh, very nice to be here because before me was uh, Poland, and Kaspar Zak, and I am Kaspar. <laughs> Our event was held in uh, in middle in, in June, and it's quite tricky to get uh, all participants together after exams, and then uh, when vacations will start. But we did it, and uh, was, uh, this this. Uh, event was only two, two days long. We, we will continue next next phase 2014 actually. So our starting points is uh, very clear. Uh, just inclusion is not enough. We, we, we must take all participants together and, uh, and uh, motivate them. And uh, very important in this issue, when we're talking about uh, school leadership and uh, networking, is a uh, great common understanding. Because uh, despite that, uh, Estonia is so small country, uh, we have different opinions about school uh, leadership. And common understanding is a, it's a basic, basic thing. We must create always. And um, another thing is uh, setting and focusing. Uh, Shared problems and uh, and agree upon desired results because when when we don't have clear clear vision what we want to do what are results it's just just uh, talking and talking uh, event by event but uh, at the risk various result, results anyway uh, in my opinion our our team was quite widespread, uh, there was different, different uh, participants from, from university, from the local municipality actually, from, uh, from ministry, these are units, and uh, of course one uh, important unit was missed, it's uh, students, but uh, it's, uh, it's not just a mistake, we will involve this uh, organization in the second phase. And uh, like I said before, a very important is to clarify uh, what is a problem, if, what we are dealing with. And in, in education in, in, uh, in Estonia, we have many indicators already. We have an Estonian education system with an enormous amount of data, but um, but uh, they don't cover all things, actually. And our goal was real-time assessment or su su supporting instrument. Uh, how evaluate educational process? And the uh, key point is uh, national curricula. Not just curricula, but uh, exactly uh, general competences in our curricula. And uh, what is the result? What we want to achieve? Not now, but maybe later, 2014 actually. Uh, all information package for students, parents, teachers, school leaders, and municipalities, and uh, also for state. And it's uh, not just uh, the pure data, but with meaning, with meaning to start. So, key findings, what we find in this event, like I said before, we have indicators, but uh, <coughs> uh, these indicators uh, are not uh, sufficient and uh, are too formal, too formal uh, for, for every um, group of interest. And uh, one, one uh, big question is, to get more input, input uh, from parents, students, and the uh, community as whole, well. because I think uh, it's a it's big circle, not just the school, yourself, but uh, the school community. And uh, like I said, uh, the current indicators do reflect uh, the, um, all all things, 
and these key uh, general competencies of the state in, uh, in our uh, uh, national curriculum. And uh, uh, what we find together, kind of principles, all things was the role of the student development. Uh, all, all indicators of liberation stuff must not invent in uh, school, uh, school work. It's a pure supporting instrument for school, for the community. Very important is uh, self-reflection. And uh, um, also, uh, all Estonian educational institutions do uh, self-evaluation. Uh, maybe it's uh, too formal right now. And uh, very important is that uh, this new tool is user-friendly because we always make new tools and instruments. It's, it's quite uh, important but uh, there is a very very big part of bureaucracy it must be simple but it's useful you can be mm, what else like we heard before yesterday and uh, before that uh, cooperation is very important between uh, between uh, groups and this instrument uh, uh, must have a long-term perspective. After after year after year, it's, it's uh, growing up. So, um, so one one uh, very important, um, I think, it's uh, it's uh, to find the uh, right balance between school openness and guiding aspects. Because we tend to scry very, very detailed indicators or, 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 or uh, data, but it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, so detailed, and it, we we lost what is the point actually. And uh, in, the, in this event, we talked about we focus only measuring the most important features actually. And what are these most important? And so far, we find conclusions. We talked yesterday in our round table uh, uh, about uh, uh, results, academic results actually. But uh, for Estonia, uh, it's very important to, um, to measure a wider, a wider things. Academic results is only one part, important part, but uh, it's, I think it's a, it's more complex. And um, another thing is define the role of different target groups in order to make school leadership more efficient. Mm, because, um, like like everywhere in Europe, we have uh, stakeholders. But what is a role? What is a core? It's a most times unclear. Like like we said in Estonia, what is a uh, what is the role of universities? What is the role of, of state or what is the role in uh, local municipalities? It's very very important to define it and uh, put. Uh, put in the paper actually. And um, like, we, like I said, uh, very important that uh, it's not just another tool of the rating, but it's, it's a tool of support uh, school development as a whole. Because uh, when, uh, when we create uh, some, some next uh, bureaucratic tool, it's, uh, it's uh, it's nothing, and uh, stakeholders uh, doesn't uh, doesn't take it over actually. So our work will continue to 2014. <coughs> of course, uh, we involve uh, more people, 
and especially the students. So, thank you.